Number 67, large meteors sometimes strike the Earth, converting most of their kinetic energy into thermal energy. Letter A, what is the kinetic energy of a 10 to the 9 kilogram meteor, move, meteor excuse me, moving at 25 kilometers per second? All right, so letter A, kinetic energy, right, we know the formula, 1 half mv squared. So this is fairly straightforward. Just plug in the values. The mass has to be in kilograms, which it is. That's 10 raised to the 9. Right, that's that's basically a billion. Multiplied by the velocity. Remember, this has to be in meters per second, not kilometers per second. So 25 kilometers is the same as 25,000 meters, right? And that would be the rate per second. So 25,000 squared. And let's see what we get. It's going to be quite a large number, right? So we're going to get 0.5 times then 10 raised to the 9, then multiplied by 25,000 squared. And here we get about 3, 3 point, I guess, I don't know, what are we going to do? 3.1 or so, 3.1 times 10 to the 17. Somewhere around there, all right? Whatever you want to do with the sig figs is fine with me. So that's letter A. Letter B now is going to be, <clears throat> if this meteor lands in a deep ocean and 80% of its kinetic energy goes into heating water, how many kilograms of water could it take, uh, could it raise by five degrees Celsius? So basically we need that Q is equal to MC delta T formula, right? They're asking us to solve for mass, so why don't we just do that right off the bat? So the mass is equal to then the, the energy divided by then C delta T, okay, the specific heat of water. So what's the energy? Well, they said 80% of its kinetic energy basically gets converted into thermal energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 80% of this number. So it's 3.1 times 10 to the 17th, multiplied then by uh, 0.8. That'll represent 80%. Divided by the specific heat of water, which is around 4184 or 4186. That's what your book uses. And the change in temperature here would be 5 degrees Celsius. And let's see what we get. So we get that answer times then 0.8, I'm using exact values here, then divide it now by 4184 times 5. And here we go, we get about 1.2, yeah, 1.2-ish times 10 raised to the 13th. That's a lot. Kilograms, all right? Okay, so that takes care of letter B. And now letter C. Uh, discuss how the energy of the meteor is most more likely to be deposited in the ocean and the likely effects. It probably produce a huge uh, tidal wave, right? I mean, just think about think about if you've ever dropped a rock in water, right? And you kind of just drop it in one instance and then you really throw it downward. Which one makes a bigger wave? Well, the one that you throw downward, right? So it's the same idea here. Um, where does that wave come from? Well, it comes from the kinetic energy. Okay, so... There you go. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I uh, hope this video helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.